Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Kelsey. Today's video, I am doing a small bathroom refresh. This is my bathroom that's connected to mine and my husband's bedroom. I dare call it a master bath because there's just really nothing master about it. My home was built in the 50s and they just, I don't think they prioritized big bathrooms back then. So this is what we have I uh, think when the people before us or whoever remodeled this home, they added the really big shower, but I think this was always like a tiny bathroom. And I'm not really complaining because I do have a four bedroom house and I feel like unless you build your home, you're gonna sacrifice something somewhere. So this is what my bathroom looks like right now. It's not ideal. I have stuff all over my windowsill that I'm using as counter space. I've got these nasty, you know, stained up curtains that I'm using for privacy. I've got this toilet paper holder ripped off that I don't know why y'all, I can never keep those in the wall. They always break and just come off. So I'm just going to say heck with it and store our toilet paper elsewhere. My skincare is above the toilet. It's unsanitary and it's gross. So I just really need to fix this bathroom up. I've been putting it off for a while. This is my little bitty tiny vanity I'm showing y'all. Um, but I do have a really nice mirror up there that I got from TJ Maxx. I love it. I know it doesn't line up with the vanity. I feel like they could have went a little further with the vanity, but this is, this is what I have y'all. This is what we're dealing with. So we're gonna get it fixed up to the best that we can. I also wanted to share with y'all an issue I have in my home is these super old windows. This is another reason why I had to take those curtains down. My windows have no moisture control whatsoever. Like they just, the condensation they get is so gross. My windowsills are always wet. I'm constantly having to wipe them if it's cold outside, warm in my house. Um, I always have, you know, some kind of mildew growing on my windowsill. So if y'all have a solution for that, please let me know. y'all my husband went ahead and put up the little mini blinds we just went with the cheap ones because we're not going to be messing with these that often just because they're in our bathroom and I went ahead and reorganized this whole cabinet that I have um I just used little containers that I already had in my house I didn't buy anything new here to save money I did get rid of a lot of stuff I had to throw out like so much old skincare and hair stuff so right here, I just put my brushes, just stuff that we use every day, I put on this first one. All of my hair brushes are in here. My skincare stuff is in here, all of my serums and moisturizers and stuff. Right here, I just put my tweezers, razors, and just like, you know, little skincare tools, I guess. This is all my contact lens stuff and some eye drops and then mine and Josh's deodorant. 
on the second shelf. Uh, put all of our hair stuff up here, hairspray, stuff like that. This is bobby pins and ponytail holders. And I have a million claw clips, so those are all right here on the second shelf. This has scrunchies. And then that's my blow dryers, curling irons, and all of my hair tools and just some other stuff that, you know, mouthwash and just extra stuff up there on the top. Okay, this is how it looks after two coats of paint. The paint color I chose is called Queen Anne's Lace. It's the same color I use in my living room, kitchen, and dining area. After everything was dried, I started putting like all of my stuff back on the walls and just kind of cleaning my bathroom up. I want to offer a little encouragement in this video too that you don't have to have a huge bathroom, a huge home. You don't have to have a lot of money. Almost everything in this video, you know, I used it from stuff that I already had. The only thing I had to buy brand new was the paint and a couple of supplies for the paint. So I just want you to know that homemaking is what you make it. You take the space that you have, you clean it, you take care of it, you organize it. Just decluttering and moving stuff around in general will make something feel new. So just take what you have and make it yours. Thank y'all for watching. I hope this video brought you some inspiration. If you have a small space, y'all have a great weekend.